So we're here at the Playworld Village at Paperworld Middle East, a dedicated area within the show floor, replete with children's toys and games. One of the exhibitors here, Ozko, is uh, exhibiting at the Playworld Village, and I'm with uh, Rio Francois, the general manager of Ozko Rio. Uh, thank you very much um, for joining us. Uh, plush toys, it looks like that is the key focus of, uh, of Ozko at uh, Paperworld Middle East, the Playworld Village here. Uh, how's the show going for you? Pretty good so far. Yeah, we yesterday we came. Uh, we got a lot of uh, visitors coming in. They want to know what kind of products that we have, and we have a distributor somewhere here in Middle East, something like that. And uh, what exactly are you presenting for the visitors to Paperwood Middle East to see? We've got a camel here and a few other plush toys. Uh, what is the? What are the key highlights? Uh, the key highlights is uh, we are doing a very uh, high quality acrylic materials. We are focusing in real animals. We have been doing for 28 years so far. The factory is in Indonesia, and we are trying to find a, expand our market to Middle East so far. Yeah, that's and uh, how successful have you been so far in the Middle East market? Uh, so far, so good. Yesterday, we got a lot of inquiries uh, coming in. They came and visit our, our booth, and they are looking for uh, supplies, you know, the camel especially, and also the bear and uh, this kind of stuff. Are you a, a, a debut exhibitor at Paperwood Middle East, or have you been at the show before? No, this is my first time. Our first time. First time at Paperwood Middle East. And um, to that end, um, I know you're looking for distributors, of course. Uh, uh, what do customers typically ask uh, when they come to your stand? Uh, what are they sort of specifically looking for? Uh, they are looking for like the animals, like cam camel, and also they are looking for the um, head mounts also, and some uh, small stuff like like we have here for their. For souvenir and gift. So we're talking about retailers, mainly distributors. Retailers and distributors, that's correct. Yeah. And uh, which particular country is exactly? UAE and yesterday we got a visit from Bahrain also. Yeah. So far, but UAE mostly. Yeah. And how much of your business is actually in this region on, on, a, on a global scale? On a global scale, we, we supply to Europe and US and also Asia. Uh, Middle East, we got some for like a couple of years ago. Now we are trying to get back and get our Middle East market again. And uh, in terms of uh, future growth, uh, what are you sort of aiming for uh, on the revenue? Kind of, a, you know, if you're looking at sort of percentage growth year on year, do you have a target in mind? Uh, right now we don't have a target market, but uh, I mean the the specific numbers. But we are aiming for like 10% uh, of our revenue coming from the Middle East. Mm -hmm. So far we get 40% and 40 to Asia. I mean Europe and 40 from. Uh, U.S. market. Uh, we're aiming for 10% for now, but probably next year we're gonna grow more than that, hopefully. Anything? Any presence in Africa at the moment? Uh, not yet. Not not yet. Hopefully through Paperwood Middle East. Exactly right. That's why we are uh, participating here. In we are planning to get like uh, Middle East uh, market and also probably the African market. Hopefully. Rio, thank you very much for your time. There you get it. Osgo at uh, Playwood Village here at uh, Paperwood Middle East, uh, looking for uh, retailers, boutique stores, children's stores, children's lifestyle stores, uh, looking for some interesting plush, plush toys from uh, Indonesia. Come down to Osgo's stand.